Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Engineer's Guide, and today we are going to talk about the fire drill electric fire pump controller, how to set it up, how to go about it. Um, last time we made a video on it about their calibration, and today we're just gonna go into it how we're gonna go about it, how to set it up. So first and foremost, let's see, this is the keys that are here, you could see that this is the enter key button, this is the escape, this is the arrow, up, down, left, right, and this is the silence button, in case there is any sounds inside, and this is the electric true RMS metering, okay, so now, you could see, the re it's ready, and the system you could see the power is available there's no alarm system pressure not low pump is not running deluge all has been removed disabled all it's not yet on okay so it's only this that is on so you can see automatic shutdown disabled so what truly we would want here is for the system not to automatically shut down in case it runs okay it has to be manually shut down. This is as per the requirements of the region or the area that we are. I don't know where you are, but you can comment with what you and your uh, the state that you are, the country that you are, and the standards that they are using there. So let's run quickly through that. Uh, so from here, this is the enter. We just press the enter button. So on the enter button, we'll show you the settings, the event log, the data history, USB, motoscope, jockey talk. So if you want more, you can go down, 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 down. The factory, about. So what is this about? So you could see even the model number, the serial number, the build number, the boots, everything is just there on the system it has been programmed on okay so you want to go back you press the escape now we press enter um, so you could see from here settings now to set the system up system setup you can set your date and time so on setting of the date and time you can press enter and what is today's date the date you could just press enter and it is asking for level one password okay even so you cannot just go through this without a password but mostly i don't share passwords but i will give you a clue on how to just get the password of the level one if the controller is truly yours and you are an authorized person to operate um, the system has incorporated the password of the level one so because that part is user um, user friendly um, changing of the time changing of the date wouldn't much affect the system then the level two would just go by the settings of the calibration of the pump and other things then after you can just go through to the level three password also as well so but for this stage i'm gonna go through the level one password okay so when you open the controller itself you could find the level one password there so quickly i will just put the password okay so the password is there if the controller is yours and you are an authorized person you could just know uh, it will be there okay don't worry because of we don't want to cause problems more so to set the date it depends on the dates that it is so you can just use the up and down arrow keys after you make forward to just switch through then after you are done you press enter you come down you can set the date also as well you can set either supposed to be in us iso uh, this is Europe standard, so it's dependent on where you are. Okay, 
So if you are in the United States of America, you can just use the US and this is in the Europe, Eastern, okay, Europe, day, month and year. I think this is nice, okay. So you let me change because this controller is an American controller, okay. So now when I switched on to the day, month and year, you see the date has been switched. So it's 16th of December 2024. The time is 2, 10. Okay. So the day of the week is Monday. Wow. It's Monday. And daylight saving. Okay. So after you are done, you could just press back. That is the escape. And these are timers. What do we have to know about the timers here? So here timers, press enter. This is the on delay. So you could set the on delay timer. You can set also the minimum run time. <clears throat> what, when we talk about the minimum run time, what do we mean? When the, the pump, for example, this is automatic shutdown disabled. When I remove this one, when I remove the automatic shutdown disabled, I could set this to, this has been set to one minute. This is the minimum, okay. The minimum is one minute. So then, if the pump should run by itself and the automatic shutdown disabled has been enabled, what is going to happen is, when the pump runs and the set pressure that, have been, that has been set, if it attains that set pressure, Within one minute, the pump itself has to go off, so then the pump will be stable. Okay, but if it does not attain the set pressure that we want, it will keep on running and run until you manually switch it off. So this is the timer that we are talking about, the minimum time. So then you would come to the pressure. <clears throat> okay, so the pressure, this is where you are going to find the units. So the unit that we are using now is 380 PSI. So you can change it from here also as well. So you can see that level one password can also change the unit. So you see how important passwords are. Okay. And the same could also change the stats. Okay, if I press this, you see, I cannot also 266, 265. Okay, so level one password is dangerous also as well because somebody can just come and alter and it will just bring a whole lot of problems. Because if I set this pressure above the, the cut in of the jockey pump, it means to say this is going to run before the jockey pump and it's serious. Okay, so this is the cutout pressure also as well. The stop is 400 psi. So this is where we did that. It is the this it's automatic shutdown is disabled. That is why it is showing automatic shutdown disabled. So this is where we did that. Let's see if it's also on also on level one. Oh, so you see it's also on level one. So you can also change it also with the level one. So it's so serious. Okay. So this is the overpressure alarm. It's enabled. This is the limits. 125 the delta is 10 psi hardly and calibration okay so in case you would want to set up this system uh, you can find the calibration of the jockey pump that we did the last time and you will see it, it, it's the same when we talk about when we talk about calibration what we mean is we have standard Okay, so then whatever that we have needs to be calibrated according to what is there. Alright. So from the calibration, let's see if the calibration is also level one. Oh. So then it says calibration. The actual pressure now is 379, 380, set to zero. So then, in calibration, I said earlier that you need to calibrate to a system, to a standard. So for example, if the pressure gauge now is showing 300 PSI now, 
and this is showing 375 379 then it means if the pressure gauge uh, is correct the reading is correct and the controller is wrong we need to calibrate the controller against the pressure gauge okay so in case the jockey pumps on is good and this is not so we need to calibrate it against the jockey pumps on right so then we will have the same pressure okay it will be very awkward when you see that the jockey pump is showing like 385 and this is showing like 360 it's quite margin right so then it will just cause a whole lot of issues setting up the cuttings and the cutouts so what we're gonna do here now let's see what, what when you want to start this what you have to do is the zero cal zero calibration is set to zero so you are going to but first and foremost what you have to do is you have to interlock this one you have to lock it so then it will not run okay so if i press enter now now it's asking for password for level two okay password for level two so if i put in the password for level two i can set the low pressure okay but now i am not uh, okay so i will go back then because the system is already set i took time to set it up i don't want to mess it up again <laughs> okay so on the span calibration the span is set to their high pressure now so after you are done you will have to pressurize with the other pump to the highest then you would just come to the set to span enter then put level 2 password then you can increase or decrease dependent on the pressure that is showing okay you can also reset to default also as well but that is not what you're doing so after you are done then you just save it you just press enter save this immediately you press enter after you are done and you press enter it will save it automatically then after you will just go back you will see your pressure being calibrated okay so we go back then from here you could also see the motor and the power alarm limit feature settings option settings let's see what is here fail to start okay in case i would want to demonstrate fail to start i could just put enter okay and audible or alarm we can just do it here test solenoid we could also test by using the solenoid that is here to drain water to start the pump okay and option settings so let's go back so the rest is event log data history data history will show you the history the calls the stats the run time the pump last time so somebody could just come in and check whether the pump the last time that it's run okay say hold on you can just go through then you just find so the main focus and this is factory what is there on the factory configuration diagnostics okay in case you want to configure something let's see what is there okay this is the model and this is the ADC calibration when you would want to calibrate the volts and the amps okay you could also do it here okay so it's all dependent on what you're looking for and I think the last time that we calibrated this we use the level 3 password level 3 password okay so we are going to check the systems amps that is coming to the incoming supply then we calibrate it against it to the one that is on the controller so then it will be the same all right so after you are done you just press press back 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 and your system is ready all right so this is how we go by this system.